Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. This is Fitz. Welcome back to the Minister's Corner in today's video. I'm responding to a question from Dr. Alfonso, who replied to my video on using the highlight tool in the Logos Bible software application. And his question he posted is, my brother, can you tell me how to better use the icons on Logos? They do not present in a way to organize them in the scheme of things. What and how do you use them along with colors and types? So Dr. Alfonso, thank you so much for your question. Going to do my best to try to answer it. I've got the Logos Bible software application locked and loaded. So let's head on over there. Let's get started. So the first thing that we need to do is to launch the highlight tool. So over on the left, going to click on tools. Then we're going to slide on over and click on highlighting. So now our highlight tool is launched. So we have a tab there. So you see that there are five default palettes. So all of your highlights are under here. So I went over these in the previous video, so I'm not going to go in detail about highlights. Hopefully you guys understand that. But I do want to point out one type of highlight, and those are the ones that have icons. So for example, you see Atonement here has this red sort of arc over it behind the word and you have belief, you have bless, you have blood circumcised. So you see these icons that are behind the word, then you have some that are next to the word. And from my perspective, my preference, and remember this is all so very subjective, it's all based on what your tastes are. I find it distracting to have that icon behind the word. I'd rather have it either to the left or to the right. Also, you can't organize these. You can't organize them, nor can you edit them. So you see here, if I click on the drop down arrow, everything's grayed out other than you can do restyle annotations. So you can basically pick something else to restyle it, but there's nothing else you can do. You can also do a shortcut key. So if you have one of these that's your favorite, then you can use a shortcut key, but then you have to remember what that short key is. Uh, but if you use one all the time, then it's great. You can do that as well. But you can't move these. So there's no real custom organizational options. Here's what I suggest is number one, just create your own palette and create your own custom highlights that you use. And you can, and you can use these as an example. Let's go ahead and do that first. So I'm going to click on new palette up here. And it puts it down here at the bottom. So I'm going to call it Fitz's Highlights. So now I've created my own sort of palette. This is just a folder. So now I can create my own highlights inside of this folder. Now let's say I just want to, I just want to customize one of the ones that's already here. So let's say, for example, where it has the green highlight and the heart behind it. So let's say I want to, I want the heart to the left. I don't want the green highlight, so I want maybe yellow, and I want to change the font, and I want to make it bold. You can either take a screenshot or take a note just to have this up and available. So now I'm going to go back to Fitz's highlights, and I'm going to select Add New Style. I'm going to give that style a name. So it's going to be a heart. So I'm going to type heart dash, and I'm going to use F just so that I know that this is a custom highlight. Also, notice the preview pane. So your preview window here is going to show you what your highlight is going to look like real time. So let's go down here. So let's say I want this to change the, 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 the font type to something different. So let's just go and randomly pick something here, Acrobat. So that looks cool. But I want it to be bold. So I'm going to select bold here, and we're going to italicize it. Again, all of this is very subjective. Next, I'm gonna pick a highlight color. I like natural highlight colors, so I'm gonna do a natural highlight color. Notice the preview window changed, and I'm gonna select, maybe I want a lighter shade of yellow. So I'm gonna make it like a real light shade of yellow. Now I want to pick the icon. Now these icons that you saw in these pre-built highlights are built into Logos. All you have to do is go where it says image and then click to choose. And so now you see all of these highlights down, all these the icons, excuse me, that you can pick from. So now I'm gonna select the heart. Notice 
the preview window has the heart there and it has this gray, uh, light gray type of tone. So of course, if it's a heart, it has to be red. So right here, you can select this little part here where it says image color. And we're gonna change this to a dark red. Um, also, you can make where you want this icon to be placed. So right now it's before, you can do start, means it's gonna be at the beginning of the first part of the word, or maybe you want it center, and in, you can do it after, or in the margins, you have all sorts of options here. So I'm gonna to select to do it before, and I'm gonna keep it at that color. Now this here where it says 100%, this is your image uh, opacity. But what I noticed, you can barely tell the difference. So this is 100, so notice the preview window. I go to 10%, could you, could you tell the difference? <laughs> I can't. So I just leave it at 100%. Again, mix and match, add whatever you want. Then I'm gonna click save. So now I've got my highlight under my particular folder here, my palette. So now if I select the word like love here, for example, go and select my highlight. And now you see love, you see the font change, it's bold and you see the heart. If that heart is too big, I don't think there's a way to adjust the size, but it does adjust as you change the actual font size. If I go here and make this smaller, you see it does adjust appropriately. So go back here and make this large. So it does adjust appropriate. Now let's say I wanna be a little bit more creative. I don't like the default icons. I wanna use my own. What I did was I went to Adobe Stock and they have some free icons you can download uh, if you have an account. So I download some emoji style icons as a PNG. So you have to have a PNG file type of image in order to add your own custom icons. I'm gonna show you how to do that. I wanna do one for prayer. So I'm gonna go back to my folder here. I'm gonna add a new style. I'm gonna call it prayer dash F again to indicate that this is something that I created. And I'm gonna leave everything else the same because you guys already know how to do um, this part. So all I wanna show you here is I go back to image, click the choose, choose the file. Mm -hmm. Click on that. Now I can go to my icon I downloaded. So I downloaded this prayer hands icon from Adobe Stock. I'm gonna click open. And now you look at the preview window, you see the prayer hands. Now, the great thing is you do have the same options. So for example, I wanna change the color, something more purple, um, or if I wanna make it gray, you can. So I'm gonna set it back to automatic so the default is fine. So everything else is the same. So now I'm gonna click save. So if I you know, highlight the word pray here and I'm gonna select the praying hands, now I have that emoji style of icon next to the word prayer. So that is pretty incredible. Also, one thing I want to mention here before we end today's video, I'm gonna go back to edit and I go back to font styling. So whatever shows up in your list here, and I have a MacBook Pro, all of the text fonts that you have downloaded, installed on your PC or on your Mac is what's going to show up here. That's it, that's all I wanted to show you. So I hope, I hope, I hope, Dr. Alfonso, that this helped you out. Uh, if it does, do me a favor, leave a comment, leave a like, and uh, let me know if this video was helpful. Also, I have stated before, but not lately, I am a Logos affiliate, so my affiliate link is down in the comments section. If you're looking for a deal on Logos, you can, I'd sure appreciate you checking that out. Hey, the holidays are coming quickly, so there's gonna be some sales and some deals that are gonna be coming up as we get into uh, October and November, of course, and then into December. So, praise God. Hope you guys are doing well. Just want to say God bless you and I will see you in the next video. Take care.